Hi guys, Riaz here from Blazes Figures. Now welcome back. So as you can see, a little bit of a different scenery and some noise in the background. But um, yeah, we're at the farm again. And um, as promised, I've got the new Snow Peak PR900 Gen 2 with me. We did a bit of a short um, review or short intro on this specific unit last week uh, with a couple of others. So yeah, I've got it here. We're gonna take a look at it, see what it's all about and um, i must say quite a nice setup with the scope that we have on it so far so yeah let's get into it and take a look all right guys as you can see as your pr 900 gen 2 as we mentioned nicely set up with a optizan i've actually got it on the optizan scope box the cp 3 to 12 by 32 got a nice scope and i think it really goes quite well with the gun um, being the CP2 and it actually fits with the size being a lightweight a nice lightweight small PCP and uh, this specific unit obviously as we mentioned does come in the synthetic stock previously we had them in the wooden stock in the normal PR900 I do believe you get the Gen 2 in the wooden stock but I do actually like this um, the synthetic stock and I mean I think in so many words um, you can really if you can call it beat the rifle up i mean the synthetic doesn't take too much of beating um, whereas the wooden stock scratches does actually look a little bit bad on there uh, but a little bit more about the gun this is the 5.5 millimeter uh, model and um, you're looking at around about 700 foot per second on the 5.5 i've actually tested it with the 18 grain pellets which we are going to do a little bit later as well um, give or take, check out what the different velocities is with a couple of different pellets that I actually have in the bag um, and um, to see what it actually gives us. So around about 700, 700 foot per second with the 18 grain pellet, not too bad out of the small gun. But the cool thing about it is, is that it's regulated. So regulated meaning uh, that it should be quite consistent. The Gen 2 is obviously fitted with a regulator and um, it obviously regulates your output air pressure. And um, yeah, that would give us a lot more consistent shots, uh, which we're gonna be checking out and seeing what the, um, how consistent the rifle is, as well as how many shots we actually get on a full fill. So um, we're gonna be topping that, the rifle up again and um, yeah, giving it a give or take see what it does with a different um, a variety of pellets and um, as well as check out how many shots we actually get about um, with, from the from the full fill. Um, the rifle also comes with your single loading tray um, that you actually have on it as well as your magazine. Um, it is a six round magazine or seven round sorry in the 5.5 seven round magazine and depending on the pellet uh, the magazine can be a little bit um, of an issue. So um, uh, that is a bit of a disclaimer, if I can call it that. Give or take, if you do have a, a, a rubbish ton of pellets, the mag might not actually work to lacquer or too well, um, but I haven't had any issues thus far. Um, looking a little bit further, as you can see, the gun will obviously come with a suppressor with its own uh, special thread um, actually fitted onto there. But other than that, I think what's left is to get the gun or to shoot it and see what it's all about all right so we're gonna be checking out our velocity test with the three different pellets that i have starting off from the 16 yeah 16.5 16.05 grain the split uh from h and um so let's give it a go uh, loading the first pellet and um, my tank pressure is just under 200 bar at the moment um, again a little bit unprepared as you can see but um, yeah, in terms of velocity, well, your 16 grain gives you around about 817. Not having too many issues with the magazine at the stage with this pellet either way. 810 on the second shot. 810 on the third. 814 on the fourth. 8.05 on this yeah for fifth 7.96 
and 7.89 on the last pallet. So there was a little bit of a drop obviously from your high to your low depending I think in most cases the tank pressure itself but I'm not going to adjust any full pressure on the gun now at the moment. I'm going to load some 18 grain pallets which is the one next and see what it does. All right, so um, we've got the 18 grain pellets loaded and I'm sitting currently at around about just over 150 bar. Um, we had it on just under 200 bar for uh, the, the start of the video um, and we'll basically just check out how many shots or what the velocity would be um, with the next type of pellet, which is the 18 grain. So let's go. 796. 789 782 768 you're obviously seeing our drop in pressure because obviously full 759 752 okay and there we have it so obviously there is a little bit of a drop from um, in velocity from when the, the tank is just above your 150 mark or 106, 140, 150 mark in terms of what your, your, your average pressure would be. So looking at the sweet spot or where you're going to be getting your max velocity is from 200 down to around about 150 bar. I do have, um, or I do have the next pellet um, of the 21 grain pellets to actually shoot. But I'm going to top it up and um, give it a go and see what velocity we get out of that. Alright, so I've got it loaded with uh, 21 grain H&N uh, pellets. And just to see what, what it will actually give us in terms of velocity. I have topped the rifle up again to around about 250 oh well, not 250 but so just under 200 bar so we're looking at 180 bar in terms of full pressure and here we go so considerable drop in terms of velocity as expected 745 foot per second but uh yeah very interesting that um we're still getting some decent velocity out of the small boy um yep 749 um 747 740 and um, even though I mentioned that your the magazine can be a little bit troublesome all three of these pellets it worked uh, flawlessly without no issues on the 5.5 model and the last shot was about 733 so um, on a full tank you should get your average or your your best speed and uh, velocity around about just over 800 foot with a 16 grain and down to around about 740 with a um, with a 21 grain pellet um, yeah so let's just see quickly what six rounds will look on paper i'm going to be shooting the 18 grain i have set the scope up for the 18 grain pellet uh, so yeah let's take a look quickly at what the 16 um, how many what seven shots will look at on paper i've got our target set to around about 40 meters and um here goes nothing. Check out what grouping we're gonna get with uh, PR9 and Gen 2. Okay, not a bad shot. Nice and consistent. Um, well, it's not the pellet after each other, but they're pretty much in the similar grouping. All right, here we go. That's five shots on the target. Let's take a quick look. I'll bring it over here and um, check what it's all about. All right, guys, there we have it. The Artemis PR9 of the Gen 2. And um, yeah, that's my grouping on this specific uh, rifle. Not too bad. I think um, with the right equipment again, with me not forgetting 
uh, some sort of sandbag or bipod would actually make a difference. The only thing that I would have hoped that the rifle would have come with is a Picatinny rail down at the bottom so that you can actually fit a bipod. But other than that, this is a lovely, lovely PCP to actually get down to. A rifle obviously needs to be full to capacity to actually get the best results out of the rifle. But other than that, um, not a bad starter PCP air rifle. Works well between from 200 bar down to 150 bar. Obviously, because of the small tank, your range of shots isn't as big as normal rifles. But other than that, a fantastic, fantastic PCP, something to start off with. Um, the Optizen scope that I've got on here, brilliant, clear, uh, quite nice. It actually fits the rifle quite nice and well, the CP range, so look out for that. Some nice, something nice and small. If you are looking for a, a small piece, a small scope, or to go into anything, for example, um, up to the, the real stuff, Optizen optics are quite nice, pretty decent to go with. As you can see, nice and small, compact rifle uh, or scope for that matter. But other than that, yeah, Artemis or the Snow Peak um, PR900 Gen 2. You can get them at any BNT store nationwide or otherwise shop online at bntonline.co.za. I'll see you on the next one. And yeah, hopefully with not so much background noise. See you then.